Welcome back everybody, MC here with another video and today I want to tell you guys how to get endless ammo in Terraria. Now you can either do this with musket balls or you can do this with wooden arrows. And with musket balls they are very good and viable all the way up to the Lahazard Temple where they do start to fall off a little bit. The wooden arrows aren't so great but I'll show you how to do them anyway. The same job applies for both of these items, you, could, you just have to pretty much do the same thing for both of them and with a Daedalus Storm Bow wooden arrows are okay but you're better off using a bow that changes your arrows into something else for example the bee's knees it's a pity that the bee's knees falls off a good bit before you get into hard mode it's a pity that you can't get these before wall of flesh but anyway you get four stacks of musket balls or technically four stacks of wooden arrows that only works with the basics of both. You can't use upgraded ammo for example. And you need to go to the crystal ball from the wizard in order to turn them into the endless musket pouch or the endless musket quiver. You need three NPCs for this job. You need the gun dealer or the arms dealer, the merchant and the wizard. The wizard is probably the last one you're going to get. He is pretty much as soon as you enter hard mode and he's going to be a rare find in the cavern layer or below. So he's quite deep down and he can be quite hard to find. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put away all my ammo and I'm going to put away all my items just so you can see that I'm not using any tricks or anything. I know you probably would trust me anyway, but just in case. So I have zero ammo here and I have zero ammo, ammo in my Daedalus Storm Bow. Okay. And I'm going to buy the crystal ball from the wizard and I'm going to put it down. That's going to be similar to the tinkerer's workshop. You just walk up to it and make your item. So we're going to buy four stacks then of wooden arrows. So that's 4,000 arrows or just slightly less than that. I usually just buy a stack of 4,000 plus and to hell with it. Especially now that you can stack arrows up to 9999. So um, anyway, you get your 4,000 arrows and I'm just going to really show you quickly that if I don't turn it into a quiver, my ammo is being used by my Daedalus Stormbow. As you can see, the number when I shoot now in a second is going to go down. However, when I make the endless quiver in the crystal ball, I no longer use any ammo when I shoot. Now, don't forget, I'm showing you how to do this with arrows first, but the exact same technique is used for bullets. If you want to go off and do that real quick now, if you want to see how it's done, of course, you can always come back or you can always just continue watching the video until I show you. But either way, you can use this technique for both items. And as I said, with a mega shark, the bullets are very useful I have to say especially for crowd control um with the Daedalus Stormbow the wooden arrows are okay they I suppose could do a little bit of damage to enemies especially if there's a lot of the same ones or maybe if you're doing a money farm for example now we're going to do the endless musket this is the more important one out of the two in my opinion so 4,000 musket bolts first of all and I'm just going to turn this down just a tad because holding right click to buy musket balls can be quite loud, quite loud sometimes. And after we get the musket balls, we're going to put them into the endless musket bag. Now, before we do anything else, I'm just going to double check and show you that the number is going to go down a little bit when I use the musket balls on the Mega Shark. So I'm going to start shooting now. And as you can see, the number is slowly going down. 4,000 ammo is quite a lot, actually. But if I make the endless musket pouch and equip it over here in my ammo section, I no longer use ammo. And this is a very useful tool to use in Terraria. You're going to be able to take care of most mobs all the way up to the Hazard Temple, everything in the jungle, and particularly when you're creating an arena for Plantera or whatever. So anyway, thank you very much for watching today's video. I'm going to let you go now. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the endless musket pouch and the endless quiver. Enjoy taking out lots of mobs and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much once again and ta-ta!